Hello everybody, and we're about to continue our Let's Play series of A Plague Tale Innocence. Chapter 6, Damaged Goods. Melly, the other one's Arthur. This is all your fault. Where is my brother? Hey, keep your voice down. Those dogs took my sling. You don't need it. Okay, looks like we have got some new characters here. Melly and Arthur. The guards. Arthur will make him move. What? How? A distraction. He's waiting for us to tell him where and what, so keep your eyes open. Look for a distraction and press. Okay. The jocks. Not very well placed. Ah, the cart. That'll do the trick. Get ready. Uh, for what? To follow me. So he's your brother. Come on. Okay, let's follow Melly. We got an idea how many deaths were on our side? It's hard to say. Thousands for sure. But the rats make counting no difficult. One there. You go as alone with those butchers. They won't hurt him. You don't understand. If he's afraid. Where the hell are these bloody rats coming from? Is it a Volwa trick or something? No. Rats have decimated Valwa villages. Thousands of deaths have been reported. We have to clear the way. Contagion. It is a divine plague. And this is just the beginning. There's no room for a war in this. Barrel with the spears. Well done. Get ready to go. Get your Arthur. Let's go. Watch out for the bottles. Simply drank a bit too much last night. Nah, nothing at all. Non-stop. Stay down. All right. Barely made that one. Was a hell of a fucking victory, I'm telling you. Guy Enby to England again. Sure. Yeah. Well spotted. Take a look out there and you'll see that Guy Enby belongs to the fucking rats. Or you. What? Now, left. Just be careful. We need you alive. Let's be careful right here. Nothing wrong here. Very good. What sort of prisoner is worth such a high ransom? Valwa children. The son and daughter of the knight Robert Darun. Knight of a tree, more like. His fighting skills from the time of the war are legendary, but he's no longer in the service of King Philip. It is rather odd to be so interested in the children. Why don't you go ask the sister some questions? She must be awake. Oh no, don't worry. It was bound to happen. That's what I'm doing. What about this chest? I saw powder, probably for alchemy. 
Oh well, went right through the cafeteria. Bread and wine. Yeah, it's the same story each time we win a battle. Half of the <sighs> You're crazy. What? We got through, didn't we? Just. Not the wood shavings look so real. It's kinda cool. My brother looks like it. Quickly. Soon you'll be far away from here. Amicia, where is she? Your sister. The bastards. I think we're the gonna bastards. keep her with us, right guys? Down. No, no, please don't. Just be thankful you're the still girl. alive. The girl! Not everyone makes it around here. Huh? What do you mean, the girl? Come on, spit it out. The girl's escaped. Her cage is open. Everyone's looking for her. Shit. Spread out! Wash the doors and stay in your toes! A cage doesn't just open like that. Might be the Valor's doing. Now's the time. Okay, let's go get Hugo. Hugo, I'm here. Amicia! Are you alright? Are you hurt? No, get me out, please. We have to get that cage down. It's all right, Hugo. Listen, my sling. Did they have it when they locked you up? Yes, they put it in the trunk, there. Right. Melly, can you look after it? Amicia, come back! Calm down, we're fine. Sorry, I was scared. Shit, I don't believe it. Finally, okay, we got our equipment now back. Hugo, awesome. I need to get the cage down. <sighs> Not bad. Not bad at all. I must be able to free Hugo with my sling. Enough of running. Report! Still nothing. Are you sure she didn't leave the camp? Spread out! Split up! And search the tents! Okay, let's get into this grass over here. Ah! 
Come on. Want some more? I still have some. Soldier, what's going on? Soldier, so where are you, eh? There you are. Sir! Leave us in peace. That was. Wow. Are you trying to win the war on your own or what? English declaration of war. Edward III claims the French throne. <laughs> when I want something, I don't declare it. I take it. Yes, but you're a thief. He's a king. What's the Keep an eye on. Hey, you! Stay where you are! Ah! It's great to have the Somnum on hand. That's for sure. You can dodge like that, nice. Okay, we want to read that declaration. The Cassus Belli serves as the official justification for a conflict between sovereigns. Although its legitimacy is often questionable, some serve primarily economic interests. The Hundred Years' War thus end enabled the French King, Philip VI, to tax his people in order to fill the kingdom's coffers, and King Edward III to satisfy the English nobility, whose land revenues had fallen severely. Not good. I pay a ransom for the Daron children, and I have to capture them myself. These Plantagenets are useless. He killed my parents. He's going to slaughter us. Belly, run! <laughs> Take them out, Amicia! We're coming! Oh, Mr. Carl and her brother! What the hell did you do? Ah, nothing! We didn't do anything! They want Hugo! It's time to get out of here! Forward! This is our way out! Hurry! Don't slow down, Hugo! Follow Melly! Amicia! We won't let them get you! Stop running! Hey, Amicia! Deliver Hugo to I'm us! coming! So close. Just missed him. Hopefully, it's right at that part. That'd be nice. Shit. Okay, nice. Done. Let's go. What? Hey. Probably best 
Nope. A tough spot to aim. Kind of like forces you to aim a little off. Or just kind of stay back. Stay here. There we go. Let's go. The hatch there. That looks like a way out. There's a chain. Really. Come on, come on. Take care of them. There's nowhere for you to go. No! Shut up! Shut up! Leave us alone! Amicia, Just made it. Come on! Pretty cool chapter. Great escape right there. Do you know where we're going? Right now, we have to hide. Arthur and I know a place. And Lucas, he's waiting at your chateau. All in good time. We're going to see Lucas again? <laughs> I hope so. I like Lucas. He's nice. Save your breath, Hugo. We're on the right track. Let's keep moving. We're not safe yet. Okay, I think this is a good stopping point for us. We just did chapter Would you six. Mind moving on? In our next episode, we'll take on chapter seven. I'd like to thank everybody for tuning in, and we'll be talking again real soon.